Hai, Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera and salam luatian to all lecturers and students. My name is Muhammad Harus Hilmi bin Ampian from AS2467B. Today, I'll be presenting my final year project, a literature review on the medicinal properties of Memordica Charantia. A little bit introduction on the topic itself, bitter god has been utilized as food and medicine in many Asian countries. Memordica Charantia or bitter god is a cucu bitter plant with flowering vine and a multitude of health advantages that blooms in the tropics and subtropics. Some common names are bitter god, balsam pear, bitter melon, kugua and karela. Memordica means to bite, alluding to the spiky leaf margins that look to have been bitten. For the problem statement, Momodica charantia is well known throughout the world for its antioxidant and anti-diabetic characteristics among general medicine. But what other benefits does this medicinal plant hold that have yet to be discovered? Recent study shows that there are only a few research on how powerful curative and healing properties containing in the Momodica charantia. How does Momodica charantia's therapeutic characteristics compare to those of its own species? There are around 60 different species of bitter god in the globe. So where does Momodica charantia fit in? Studies also found that Momodica charantia, which is quite popular in Asian countries but less in the Western and European countries, and not to mention not many journals and articles online that has an overall view of its medicinal properties. The significance of this topic is this study is directed at people of all age group since diseases is unrelated to age especially in the elderly since they are more prone to chronic diseases. This study will benefit the society as the medicinal properties of Momodica charantia could not only heal many diseases but also preventing diseases from manifesting and may be an alternative to synthetic drugs. This research will also provide new perspective on the usage of Momodica charantia on its daily usage as well as raising awareness to the world of its curative aspects. Next, the objective of this literary review is to analyze the curative aspects of Momodica charantia and its importance to the human body and to study the mechanism of medicinal properties of Momodica charantia as well as to promote the benefits of incorporating Momodica charantia in our day dietary intake. Jumping on to the literary review, Momodica charantia has several important bioactive phytochemical components which are non-nutritive compounds with different physiological effects on humans and protect them against a variety of diseases which are responsible for bitter god's therapeutic efficiency. Even on different timelines, Krishnendu and Nandini in 2015 and Karale in 2021 both reported that phytochemical constituents of Momodica charantia are said to be active components that is responsible for its curative effects which are tritopines, steroids, proteins, peptides, flavonoids, phenolic compounds, charantin, momordicin, alkaloids and saponins. Sosa Lagere in 2022 reported that in four variations of Momorica charantia, which is Karala, Murikata, Hybrid Green and Hybrid White Karala, all four of these contain the same phytochemical constituents, constituent when analyzed. Therefore, it is safe to assume that there are no significant difference in all four variations. With this information, it is safe to say that there are no differences in effectiveness of all species of bitter god. Next, we will be discussing on the pharmacological aspects. The first is its antidiabetic properties. Diabetes means lack of glucose homeostasis due to insulin production irregularities. Saponin here acts by suppression of digestive glucose absorption, reduction of adipogenesis, marginalization of crucial gluconeogenic enzymes in hepatic organs. It is it is also has been proven clinically that Momodica charantia preserves pancreatic beta cells by increasing insulin levels in endocrine pancreatic cells when taken orally. Momodica charantia diabetic activity suggests that it restores an increased amount of insulin producing cells. Bitter gut extracts from different parts have indeed been proven in clinical and experimental research to have broad spectrum, spe spectrum of antibacterial activity. In a study by Murti in 2018, the whole plant exhibit antiprotozoal behavior. Essential oils and phenolic compounds contained in Momodica charantia inhibits S. aureus, while fruit extracts inhibits Helicobacter pylori and seed extracts inhibits the growth of P. multocida, S. typhi, S. epidermidis, and L. bulgaricus. Its pulp extract has been demonstrated to have broad spectrum of antibiotic activity against E. coli, Staphylococcus, Pseudomonas, Salmonella, and Streptobacillus. Studies on anti-cancer of Momodica charantia confirms that the plant contains tryptophanoids and momodicin which has biological activity towards cancer cells. 
it also contains ribosome inactivating protein RIP and Momordica anti-HIV protein or MMP30. RIPs prevent polypeptide chain elongation by inhibiting N glycosidase activity that leads to a reduction in cellular protein synthesis. MMP30 has also been discovered to be potent inhibitors of protein synthesis. Both components are responsible for suppressing the tra transcription of fibro fibroblast growth factor receptor and induce apoptosis of target or cancer cells. These bioactive components have low toxicity towards normal cells and high toxicity towards cancer cells. Next, these are all unsung benefits of Momorica charantia in everyday life. We have wound healing activities, anti larvicidal properties, anti-fungal for skin and hair, anti-ulcerogenic for ulcers, anti-abortifacient activity for pregnant mums, and anti-immunomodulatory activity. As a conclusion, the bioactive components of Momordica charantia was proven to have curative effects. It also can be considered as a way to prevent disease rather than curing it and as an alternative to pharmaceutical drugs. Bittergut can also be considered as a daily diet and eating it on a regular basis brings many benefits in the long term. For recommendation, I recommend promoting bittergut based product in the market and publish more articles on the benefits of bitter God and commercialize it. You can also develop a new product that can be accepted by all consumers, for example, uh, bitter God based snacks or bitter God based supplements or gummies for children. Uh, these are all the references I used in the slides and my uh, literature review, and that's all. Thank you.